Hey, welcome back to Jameson's Repair Shop. So in this video, um, I grabbed the trunk lid out of the uh, from out back. Uh, it was uh, snow melted enough. I was able to get at it, and I uh, stripped the trunk lid of all the paint both top and bottom. The bottom's not quite done yet. It needs uh, quite a little bit more touch up, but you'll see in the video. I fixed uh, the rust holes that were on this side right here and on the same on the other side. That was the only rust on this trunk lid, uh, rust holes. There's a couple of dents in here. You'll see that. And the reason I went after the trunk lid is because Nick brought it up about the lining, the, uh, having the trunk lid to align up the body lines. And uh, thanks Nick for pointing that out. Uh, I'd forgotten all about it and it would have been a shame to put this quarter panel on uh, without checking how it relates to the uh, to the trunk lid or the, the rear deck. But there it is all stripped down and um, you notice a little white haze on it. Well we're starting to get a lot of rain here and um, more moisture in the air so I put a little just a thin coat of uh, phosphoric acid over it and that's what that haze is it's just a white it's a phosphorus that comes off that phosphoric acid but now it's protected it won't it won't flash rust or anything now even if we get a lot of rain so anyway let's get into it um, I think you'll think it looks pretty good here we are with a deck lid uh, I'll need this deck lid on for uh, fitting Make sure that this body line is right, this gap, body gap. Nick brought that up. Thanks, Nick, for that. I had almost forgotten about this, getting that on there and just checking before I locked down the uh, body line or bought the quarter panel. So we did do a little uh, tear down on this thing. I, I just grabbed it off last fall and, and set it out. So there's a lot of stuff that has to come off this. So let's get this done. And then we can see the condition of what's behind all this. It's scaly rust there, but it's, we'll see if it's good or not. I'm not going to say anything ahead on that because it could be rotten right out. But I do know back here that there's some repairs need to be done. The skin looks to be good on this, but I won't know till I strip it. And then over in this corner, this is the front uh, facing forward part because these these flip up the opposite way of the hard top so this will fold down like that on this end and these are the locking screws so I have to get all rid of all that stuff all the little bits and pieces and I'll put it in one box and bag so I don't lose it I'll know it's for the trunk lid I only have one of these trunk lids because uh, the hard top ones are different so this is gonna this is what we're gonna have to work with uh, it's not that bad, but we'll know. We'll know when I get it stripped down. So the project now on this video is stripping this down. So first of all, we'll get rid of all the hardware. So let's get that done. Well, there she is. All the hardware stripped off of it. Hasn't changed a lot in its looks now that I can see everything. This is still, still feels pretty solid, even though it uh, looks scaly, but I think it's going to be okay. Seams are good here. Seems even good here, but it's just going to have to be chopped out. This section will have to be cut right out. So I'll have to peel this back some. I don't really want to, but kind of have to. It's a little bit of uh, the seam sealer broke there. I have to clean it out. And obviously on this side too. And the rest is pretty good. And then the top. So... I'm thinking to try some of the stripper on this right now in a little section because this is highly unlikely that this was actually sanded and uh, painted. It's probably just the way it's flaking off in places. I think they just lifted the trunk lid and sanded and blasted it with some paint probably both times. Definitely white underneath so it's probably the original one. The sticker is spare tire stickers gone. I have new ones of these. I bought them already. But I'm still waiting for those parts from uh, Bird Nest. They're still stuck in LA. I mean, I ordered them in February, uh, early February. 
kind of disappointing. This is a problem we have. That's why I end up fixing my own stuff because getting parts, you know, you would think it would just be an easy thing, but between the high shipping costs and the exchange in the dollar, and then it doesn't come for months, well, it's a lot of money tied up for nothing. All right, enough complaining about the shipping. <laughs> I don't complain about bird nests. They headed out, out the door really quick, and I called them, and they gave me a tracking number and everything, so they, they've been excellent. There's no complaints with uh, bird nest himself. Just the, uh, the shipping end of it. Probably uh, things are backed up in L.A., obviously. All right, let's get on with the... Uh, see if I can get some stripper on this and see what happens. All right, before I put the actual stripper on, I'm going to use some lacquer thinner. Because I, I went around this with the air hose and it started peeling a lot of that uh, gold paint right off, you can see there. So I'm going to do a lacquer thinner and soften it all, and then I'll go after it with the stripper, see how that works. Uh, just an experiment. So I find the stripper I have works okay, but it doesn't really bite in deep unless it's been uh, already agitated. I said I was going to just leave it to sand, but I'd really like to see this in bare metal. This is the time to do it. I do have some paint stripper, and it's going to, it's going to be a hard job. It won't be easy, but I think it deserves to be put in bare metal. So I'm going to set up and uh, start using the paint stripper I have. Hopefully it does a good job. This may take a couple of days, who knows, but uh, it'll be a fresh start for this old girl, and I think she deserves it. All right, I did the bottom. I'll flip it over uh, when I'm ready to uh, show you. The bottom's good enough to get with the sand sanding now with a DA sander. Now I started on the top. Uh, this stuff here works okay. It's not perfect. This Heirloom Max. Um, it does peel off quick, but you can't let it dry. It's like all the rest of it. You can't let it dry on there. So I'm not even bothering with the plastic. I'm just going to stay and uh, as I see it bubbling up, I'm going to peel it off. That's what I'm doing. Continue on with it. Uh, I got the uh, top of the deck all cleaned off. Wow, there's a lot of paint on that sucker. Anyway, she's looking good. There's a couple of, uh, I found some Bondo here. There's a couple of dents. One there, one there. Had to be uh, pulled out the best I can. That's her. So now I've got that all done. It's fitting pretty good. I have to get some spacers put in to, to get this up right. But it, it is fitting pretty good in the, uh, in the body lines. A little bit, I can get just a little tweaking here and there. Yeah, it's not bad. So that's her. <coughs> So I'll get it off and I'll flip it back over and I'm going to start repairing the uh, corners that were rusted on this thing and clean up the frame, just start cleaning up the frame of the, of the back deck, the inner frame. 
All right, uh, tackling this old trunk lid again. I'm gonna start working on these spots. I mentioned that already. Holy smokes, this paint here is hard to get off. Anyway, so I'm gonna keep picking away at sanding this paint off and getting it all cleaned up. The red oxide primer on this car is embedded right in the metal. Man, that was good stuff. Anyhow, I'm gonna start on this side. I'm gonna make a piece. And I'm going to try not to, I, I was talking about cutting this open, but I'm going to try not to. I'm going to see how far I can get without cutting that open, that metal down in there. That looks really good. So if I can get this piece cut out and not have to go to disturb this uh, seam, I'll be happy. It's got a little drain spot there, which was plugged with seam sealer, so that's probably why that rusted out. It seemed like the, there was another one right there. There's little uh, V-shaped drains that are in these. So I'm going to go back as far as I can without disturbing too much. We'll see how it works. All right, starting to form a piece. Had a couple of Clico, Clicos in it. I turned up the edge a little bit to give me better welding meat up in here. And now I'm going to turn down the, the outside lip and fit that in. So the Clicos are so I can return it now to every, every time to the same spot. I'm thinking there's a lot of good meat still down in there to weld to. I'm going to try it. If it fails, well, I'll make a new one. All right, I got that working pretty good. It's in pretty tight. It's a little open right there, but uh, it's running along nicely there. I don't think it's going to be quite long enough, but I'll see if I burn through, I'll put a piece in. But uh, it'll only be a little piece. But I think I'm going to start welding that in. It looks pretty good. All right, got the back side of the piece that's going in primed up with self-etching. I hit it with some uh, rust converter, sanded it and hit it with rust converter. Uh, the rest of it's not done with anything, so I'm just going to leave it like that. And I'm going to burn that in once it dries. There we go, got her all welded in and ground up. I think that'll be sufficient for a patch for that old trunk lid. Now, same thing on this side. All right, there she is. Got the other side done now. So both corners are fixed up. And I'm gonna pick away at the paint. And that trunk lid will be ready to go back on the car. Uh, once body work comes, I'll have to fix those two dents. But that's great. Uh, one more piece pretty much refurbished. For the most part, it's a mess, <laughs> but I'll get her. So anyway, that's it. A couple of fix-ups here and there, and it went pretty good. Uh, not a not a big issue. So I'm going to end the video here, and I appreciate you watching, and uh, we'll see you in the next one. Thanks a lot.